if they don't turn anything into the agency, we're unable to make that determination. And that results in us um, having to, to close their case. New Mexico Medicaid Director Lorelai Kellogg listing one of the reasons people may not have Medicaid coverage anymore. As of Thursday, more than 104,000 New Mexicans have been disenrolled. Representatives with GoodRx say this could impact many families and kids. They may not have that many this fall because some children may not have that Medicaid pharmacy coverage that have allowed their parents to go pick up those prescriptions. Kellogg says this coverage is lapsing because COVID-19 is no longer a public health emergency. If you want to renew Medicaid coverage, experts say you should check a few things. That's why it's so important to make sure your mailing address is up to date, your other contact information is current, and that you find out the status of your account if you think you're still eligible for Medicaid. And there are options. Kellogg says anyone that has recently lost their Medicaid coverage could get help through Be Well New Mexico. She says the Human Services Department has worked hard to make sure the state was ready for Medicaid unwinding. The individuals who lose their Medicaid coverage can easily transition over to those no to low cost plans that are at Be Well New Mexico. And we are actually expecting to see continued growth in the Medicaid program, uh, even with this unwinding. As they work to get New Mexicans healthy. Reporting for KOAT Action 7 News, I'm Julian Paras. Julian, thank you. You can learn more about the options available to you by opening our app and clicking on this story.